Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Freemason Duo by Templar Cornhole. Let's go ahead and dive in and break this bag down. These two materials are very, un I don't say unique, I've seen them on a couple other bags, I think, but they're pretty, they're not very common materials in this bag. So, flow side, this is the same flow side that you find on the Cornographic Sutra I reviewed a while back. Very soft material, it's it's fast, but controllable, extremely hole friendly. I'm gonna call it about a six speed. I feel like it's kind of where it plays for me. So, six speed on the slow side, fast side, I. This material, I've been racking my brain. I know I've seen this material before. I think it might be the fast side of the Nola Jester. I'm not positive. It's been a long time since I've run the Jester. I can't remember. But I know Nola uses a lot of uh, uh, uncommon materials as well. So I think that's what it is. Honestly, the best I describe is it, look, it almost looks like the back side of a material. And, and if you were to take that that BG shapeshifter sorcerer samurai fast side material and flip it over I, I I imagine it looks something like this I don't think that's what this is because it doesn't quite feel when I pinch it doesn't quite feel the same as that material I don't think that's what it is but if you imagine you know the the, the raised lines that was a material if you were to flip the material over you would see them in the fabric but it would be it would be flat kind of a matted type material that's what it looks like here so it just if you can picture what the back side would look like I think that's what this looks like I, I, again i don't think that's what it is in fact i've never seen the backside material so i don't know if that backside's even a playable material but i'm just going to give you an idea of what to picture what you're thinking of here but anyway it's a fast material like i said it plays about a nine speed so i'm about a six nine speed on this bag this is kind of that fast faster bag maybe a mid to fast bag uh, template wise it is a medium template bag but it is a very thin bag it's it's a very floppy bag this bag just folds in half it's a loose floppy bag so even though it's a medium template it feels larger because it is so loose and floppy the fill in here is a mixed fill and i i, I love mixed fill. you watch me i love mixed fill i love bead fill typically bags that have that mixed fill bead fill they have a little more balance or more movement but because this bag is so floppy it's very forgiving when it lands if you don't throw the flat of the bag it's not going to punish you it's not going to kick on you it lands it flattens out and runs pretty straight into a true up the board for you so it's great for those players who want to go hole for hole and don't have that flat bag this this freemason duo is really a great option for you on that let's go ahead and jump in i'm here talking about this and talk about playability on this and this is a bag that to me it's really pretty straightforward this is a bag designed to just run the hole you're putting your four bags in you're outscoring your opponent and you're just going rounds around that way it's really not a bag designed to play a dirty style game uh, you, you can you can control the slow side down and you can throw a blocker and put a blocker up there from time to time if you need to and i think i put a few up there here and there uh, i really wasn't even trying to do that when i put them up there it's usually because I threw the bag a little softer than I wanted to, or I landed a little short on the board, hit that dead spot, and kind of took the speed out and dished it and slot all the way up. But when you do throw a blocker, I will say the bag is not the easiest for collecting. Not saying it's not collectible, it is, but when you go to collect, when you have these loose floppy bags and you go to flip a corner to collect, it just wants to accordion up, right? It just it just flattens up and the, the push bag just goes around, maybe bullies that blocker out of the way and, and this bag goes in. So it makes it tougher to collect. So if you're looking to collect this bag, you've really got to get more intentional and come a third or a half the way into the bags and clip them that way and then push them through. Plenty fast enough on the fast side to collect bags, take in multiple bags. Slow side's fast enough as well if you want to push and collect. Uh, and, and the bags are so loose and floppy, it, it, I, I didn't have any issues with them bunching or clogging them. I mean, you get them up there, they just fold up and they just fall right in the hole. So it, it's definitely a bag that if you need to throw a blocker, you can, but it's not designed for that. And in fact, really to me, it's it's even better when you're playing as punter who throws blockers because if they have their blocker up there, you can step out, whichever side you are, step out, throw your bag and just catch that corner of that blocker. And again, you're going to cart cording up, maybe blow them out of the way and put your bag in and leave their bag there so you don't have to collect their bag. And that's, again, for me, if I'm if I'm playing a hole-for-hole -hole style game and I'm playing this opponent who throws a few blockers or play a dirty style game, a bag like this is what I want because I want to be able to get around their bag. I don't want to have to go through or go over their bag. I want to get around it and make them collect their bags, make them work. Every time they throw a blocker, I want to make them work to get it in, hope that they make a mistake, and eventually they stop throwing those blockers. And this is a phenomenal bag for that. And the other thing I see on this bag here, this is not a great bag for flopping and rolling. I mean, you can if, if you're an advanced roll bag or thrower, you can roll any bag, and you could probably roll this bag. But this is not a bag the average blower of going to roll. It's just too loose, too floppy. It lands too soft. It doesn't have that balance, that hop you need to get that bag up to roll or flop over a bag. But again... That this bag's not designed to play that shot shape and style game. It's not designed to 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 play a dirty style game. This is a bag designed to just put bags in the hole. You're keeping the board open. You're either if, if your opponent throws a block or you're not rolling or flopping over it, you're either pushing through it, you're stepping out and trying to get around it, or you're air milling over. And that's pretty much what it's with the options you got. And it does a great job of all that really is. You know, if you like that that loose floppy bags, you like those forgiving bags, this is definitely what you got here. The only thing I would say is this bag is very forgiving around the hole because it's so loose and floppy. 
it has a really large landing zone. And you, watch here as I'm throwing, as, as my bag's right in the board, I'm not hitting the same spot. I'm not that consistent. And part of that is because, so when, when I grip a bag, I, I do like to have a little bit of fullness. I like to lock the bag down because that gives me complete control of the bag. When you get these loose floppy bags, it's harder to lock this bag down. So sometimes when I'm throwing, the bag comes out a little funky, a little different than what I want to. But because this bag is so forgiving around the hole, it doesn't penalize me. Like I said, again, it doesn't really kick on you. And if I can just get this, if I can just get a corner, just a corner over the hole, it's going to grab it, spin around, and come right back in. So the bag really makes up for a lot of your mistakes, a lot of your inconsistencies. It just, it just goes in the hole. It wants to go in the hole. If you can grab the hole, it's going to go in the hole. I think I may have had a few bags I left hanging, but there's usually because they were my fourth bag and I didn't have another bag going after it. If I had another bag, I think I could have collected them. I could have got them in. But it's also a bag too that really is great for building the confidence. And I, I talk about cornhole being a confidence sport and how the, the more bags you put in the hole the, the more likely you are to put the next bag in the hole right because a, a lot of cornhole is, is is mental right it's not it's not a hard sport it's not hard to throw a one pound bag 27 30 feet down down the lane there it, it doesn't take a lot of strength or anything like that it, it's it takes a lot of mental focus you're just you're, you want to make sure you're consistent and, and and you're focused and so as you put as you throw a bag like this and you put more bags in the hole it just builds that confidence and you you just you realize that you don't have to be perfect. You, you know, you, you can just get it in a certain area, a certain landing zone, and that bag is going to go in. It's a great bag for playing deck rounds, for playing ghost cornhole, around holios, whatever you're doing. You play a lot of those solo games. Great for that. It's great for improving your PPR. You know, if you're looking for a bag that maybe bump your PPR a little bit, throw some games with this. I think you'll get a higher PPR with it. So anyway, definitely a great bag if you love to run. If you love to run bags and just outscore your opponent, this 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 Freemason Duo is definitely a great option for you. Now, if you're availability, Templar has a website, templarcornhole.com. I'll put a link in the description. You can click on that to go to the website. As of the recording of this, the this bag had not yet been released, but I think it will be pretty soon. Uh, the bags, they're, they're new bags, they're at least new bags, they run 80 bucks for a set, and all the bags are free shipping from Templar, so $80 shipped to you is a great price on the cheap rate of bags, and you're getting a, a high-quality bag for this price, so uh, it definitely, if you're looking for, again, that whole runner style bag, a loose, floppy bag, this is this is what you're looking for here. These bags are not ACL or ACO stamped, so if you're looking for a bag for those events, you might have to go a different direction, but for, for anything else, you know, non-affiliated tournaments, local leagues, local events, any kind of any, you know, any kind of event that doesn't require ACL or ACO uh, bags, you can definitely throw these in there. When you get a set of these and you've thrown them, or if you've already thrown them, I'd love to hear your feedback. I always love it hearing your guys' opinions, even if you disagree with me. I love hearing your opinions of bags as well. Because sometimes you know, sometimes I throw a bag and I kind of have a mindset of how to play it, and then you guys come and tell me, "Hey, I I played this way with it," and I go. Oh. I didn't really think of that. So I love hearing your guys' opinions, and please continue to share them with me. But I thank you guys so much for support, and I thank you for watching. 